hello and welcome back to another video <sighs> yes from the title you will see that this is a new topic it's something different right normally you get me going to places doing content going this place videoing showing you what i did or what this place is about but this thought came into my mind like um at the beginning of the year so i'm just going to get right into it try not to ramble <laughs> so for me i don't set new year's resolution right i do i have goals that i want to achieve and i have goals for each month and for quarter and for half year and then for the entire year right so i set goals and try to attain them and also i ha i make um declarations so that's for me i don't do um new year's resolution and also i do by i pick out a word i find a word or something that resonates i have been wanting to do this video for the entire year since the year started um however i'm just getting around to it so let me try to get into it as the video states the title how to change your life in 2024 and it doesn't have to be 2024 it can be any year right or any time of the year first things first you don't have to wait until a january 1st to change your life definitely start where you are start at the beginning of the week start on a wednesday start start on a thursday at nine o'clock you can start anywhere if you want to change your life so let's get into it i have written down five things five things that i am using and i have been employing in my life since the year started but well, some from before but intentionally using these five things to ensure that my life is changed in a meaningful way um or i can also say to help to improve my life so let's get into it number one number one is if you see me looking down my notes, of course, because we have to have notes. Number one, journaling slash writing things down. I don't know about you, but me, I have to write things down. I most definitely have to write things down. I have several books. See this book before me? Several things. I must write things down. And in writing things down, two main things, two main things that I've employed. So you may not believe in prayer i do so i have a prayer journal journal so a prayer journal so i write down prayers it can be every day every other day um every other week or something a prayer for the week anything if you are a person and you pray and you employ you you use prayer in your life most definitely having a prayer journal will make a world of difference in your life secondly I have like a regular journal now that I call a, a regular or a goals journal, right? So there, as I told you before, I set goals. So I have a monthly goal of places that I want to go to. I want to see things that I must experience, the amount of things that I must achieve. And I write them down. I write them down. And I try my very best to make them realistic please when you are writing things down as it regards your life and building and your future and ensuring that you have a good and um i wouldn't even say a comfortable life but a life that is worth living or meaningful be realistic with your goals be a re be realistic with your goals so on the journal again journaling i have a per journal and i have a regular sasha goals journal I make a note of every single thing that I would like to achieve and I try to be a re realistic and I set them according to my life. Remember, it's your life that you want to change. You can emulate somebody's life, but you don't try to copy anyone else's life, right? It's your life based on your experience, based on your reality, you curate your life and that's what I do. So that's for number one, journaling. Number two, I recently started this one. I have 
two envelopes two envelopes this one is going to touch on finances finance is a huge topic in anyone's life and i don't know about you but for me it's a huge thing right it should be um but when i say it's a huge thing don't make it to be like oh the only thing in your life but it's a huge thing right you don't have money you cannot do certain things in life most definitely that's a given but number two as i said envelopes so i have two envelopes and i've written on them one is for savings and one is for emergency so emergency saving and regular savings trust me when i tell you that this has started to make my life you know start putting it into perspective i try, i'm now seeing that you actually were spending this money and you didn't need to you get me you didn't need to so yes so i've started doing that two envelopes i write on it one for savings one for emergency saving and trust me it works try it no don't want to spend too long number three gratitude expressing gratitude be th being thankful for each day so yes i write down pearls and yes i write down gold yada yada yeah but there's this thing that i've employed is just being thankful being grateful for every single day that i'm alive i try to just say thank you jesus for another day because the reality is so many people are dying so many people have not made it to this day so many people woke up and they are just whether they're in the hospital or they're something is wrong with them right but i have employed gratitude into my day and it has definitely definitely shifted my whole perspective on life and also given me new meaning to life by expressing gratitude so i'm looking down as i as i said because i made some little notes under each i said it will also serve as a reminder of what happened the this day a year from now so yes when you write down each thing that you are grateful for today date it something magnificent or spectacular about writing a date and time on these things that you are writing down it's like voila <laughs> but yeah most definitely so i write the date um the month the day the year and i put it down it definitely shows you gives you perspective it shows you where you were last year and where you are today and when you do the comparison oh my god you can see that oh last year i was feeling this type of way because this happened or last year i had this and then this year this is what i have now and it's it just gives you as i said perspective on your own life and this is now shaping up to be or shaping up to the life that you want for yourself most definitely gratitude another um note i made on the gratitude is that okay yeah so with that gratitude that i've done i've also put it into a bottle so started this year i have a so it's called a gratitude journal really or a gratitude jar i've seen it many times i've always said i wanted to try it and this year i decided hello get on it so I start, as i said i write down the day right though you can write the day you can write the date and you can write the time and you get a strip of paper you write down what it is happening for today you say thank you god for today or something um today okay i'm sitting in an x place and uh, this is what i'm doing this is who i'm here with this is what has happened and this is what you're expecting for the day and you write it down you fold up and you put it in this jar tell and trust me trust me i cannot wait until next year so i can open them up and just read back these things so i can get a perspective on where i was last year i actually started this last year but i was just writing it in books and i wasn't consistent and up to now today that i'm recording this i have a little inconsistency going on but i'm going to pick up back right there because if you stop it's just a pause it's it's a pause it's really not a stop so you've paused you pick back up that is something that has definitely given me perspective on my life when i look back on where i was especially with this youtube journey 
last year i looked at what i was writing in march and, and april and february and january as it regards my youtube channel and i wasn't even no anywhere near here and look at me now today yay <laughs> 2000 plus subscribers and viewers and i'm growing and i'm thankful because i will give you this stat. I, I hope i remember to put this stat here of my subscribers and my view viewership um last year this time but trust me it really gives perspective on your life and it helps to allow you to see that you are growing or even if you slip off a bit you just slipped but then you the, there's a there there's a chance for you to pick back up on that all right so that's number three number four i discovered this from um so she's a jamaican living in trinidad and tobago her name is cindy she goes by book of sins on tiktok very inspirational i know she doesn't want to hear influencer type of thing and i don't really look at influencers i hope people look at influencers but she's very influential um for people who are readers so she started out as book of sins um but no she's exploring the world and everything so it's book of sins the girl that's reading caribbean and she's exploring the world love her and love her for that so i found this out from her dear future me it's it's basically like an email or a letter that you're writing to yourself um in the future and you can you set a date for it so for example my birthday is august 6th and I, if you're anything like me <laughs> i plan my birthday once the the last birthday uh birthday ends i start my planning so what you can do for example my birthday is august 6th and i have a plan what i want to do where i want to go so you write a, a letter um dear future me and you you can say oh hi christina how are you you're, yes you're talking to yourself no problem with that oh how are you your da -da 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 birthday is coming up and you want to go x place did you make it to x place huh did this person come did you get to do this did you get to do that you're writing you're asking questions and you're saying things and you're it's basically asking yourself if you actually did what you did so you date the letter for august 6 2024 and you can set it for that day or any day that you want so i think i set mine for after my birthday and you the letter will come to you you'll open it up and you'll just read it back to yourself and trust me I, I I I have done it. Well, I haven't gotten back any letter yet, but I just can imagine how beautiful it will be because I've seen Cindy do it, um, where she reads back to herself and it, it. You get emotional reading it because when you look at what you 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 wrote to yourself, and then you can go back and say, oh, I I actually did this. That I said I wanted to do. I wrote a letter to myself. I know I'm reading back the letter from myself to let me know that oh yes, I actually did this thing that I. It's like you're writing to somebody and telling them like a pen pal, but you're literally writing back to yourself. I absolutely love the idea of it, and I employed it into my 2024. And I've written about three so far, and I can't wait for those letters to come back to me. <laughs> when, when when they come back, I'll definitely try to make a video to let y'all know how that goes. Yeah, and tell you that I got a letter from myself. <laughs> but yeah, that's number four. I'm trying to do this as fast as possible, right? So number five, writing down what you want to achieve for the year. As I said before, I said it's up top. I don't make resolutions, I make declarations and I set goals. So I go in depth now. I don't do a vision board also, but I don't blame anyone. You can go ahead, if you are a vision board person, go ahead and do your vision board. I see where it has paid off for many a people. And it also is a way to show you how, um, it's just basically like all the things that I do here in my, that I have for myself, it's just on a bigger scale. So you have it in your house. Every time you walk past it, you can say, okay, I plan to do this that time. I want to do this this year. You know, it's just like that. But I've written down a, a yearly goal. So for each month, I have it in my phone. January, I have this and this and that. February, da, 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 da. And every, for every month, what I want to do. And if it's nothing, it's nothing. You don't have to have everything planned out for every month or every week. That's not how life goes. You're not going to be on the go, on the go, on the go, on the go. But there are goals that you want to achieve. So I did that. 
and then what what i do um of course you know that the phone is very you, you can use the phone for everything so i do that in my notes and when i finished and i've like gone to this place i go back and i go into emojis and i tick off i use the green tick to show that yes i accomplished this like i said in this month absolutely brilliant <laughs> i love it i love it so yeah those are just five things that i have employed five things that i have employed to change to help to change my life in 2024 so let's recap number one journaling journaling very effective and i think you should employ this in your life number two envelopes envelopes for savings and emergency it has helped me and i'm sure it can help you too number three of course you know this three finger can't stay up <laughs> um gratitude journal or gratitude jar um absolutely effective also brilliant idea please get on to it number four dear future me dear future me it's like a letter to yourself and then five and not definitely not last it's writing down your yearly goals absolutely brilliant idea i did it please employ it but yes those are five things but here, here are two more things like bonus bonus things that i have employed that i i sure hope that you can find some meaning into it also and trust me i've used them and they are working two bonus quickly let's wrap this up number one eating your last meal before 7 p.m i won't even elaborate too much on this because it doesn't take a fitness junkie to come and tell you that trust me eating your last meal before 7 p.m or even 6 p.m it does absolute wonders for you trust me do it do it it helps with your metabolism it helps with how you digest food it helps it helps with how you rest it just it helps it helps try it try it try it try it and the last thing you can have is for you um is drink some tea before you go to bed or water absolutely amazing number two for the bonus is going to bed by 10 p.m and I said 10 p.m. but trust me even now I'm thinking that I need to like go sometimes 9 9 30 because when you're getting up into age and yes I'm young but when you're getting up into a certain when you have past 30 and you're hitting the mid 30s trust you feel extra tired than before and the days are long and just get your rest sleep sleep people will see some people and oh they have nice flawless skin social media or phones we have our phones in our hands 24 7 daily we are in front of a screen daily we are just on the phone doing things and and i know i know trust me i know because it happens over here where the last thing you do before you go to bed is the phone sometimes people drop asleep with the phone in their hands trust me try to employ this thing of even putting down the phone 30 minutes before you go off to sleep just 30 minutes to just relax your brain and your mind to think on think about your day what went wrong what went good how you can give gratitude how you can be thankful something but try to go to bed before 10 p.m try to go to bed before 10 p.m and see what that what that does for your body try to get eight hours of sleep and see how refreshed and rejuvenated you feel in the morning so yeah five things five ways how you can change your life in 2024 and it doesn't have to be only 2024 it can be a yearly thing for you the entire you can change your life you can it literally can be five ways how you can change your life overall but these things that i shared um are these things that I'm using in my life and they have been beneficial so far and I really hope that you will please employ them in your life and leave a message please leave me in the leave something in the comments tell me how you have decided to change your life or what have you employed what have you been using to change your life tell me some tips some tell me some tricks tell me something you can give me your five or give me one or two. It doesn't matter. Just leave something in the comment. Let's chat. Let's chat about how we can change our life to, to basically get the best quality life and lifestyle that we need. And life, lifestyle doesn't necessarily mean spending a bag of money going somewhere. No, it's like literally fulfilling 
your life and your own self in the best possible way that you can being present with yourself and doing things that will generate genuinely genuinely affect and effect change in your life your growth and your development so there you have it um uh please leave a comment please leave something this is another side of me i don't really do sit down but i decided that i must do this and it doesn't matter it's not coming january 1st it doesn't matter you can pick up and start and change your life any day anytime it can be wednesday 12 noon start right there as I always say and I always tell everybody, start now. It doesn't matter. Start with what they have. Start now. Start where you are. The best time to start is now. Thank you so much for being here. If it's the first time, please subscribe. If you're always here and watching my videos, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Love you. Um, see you in the next one. And I hope I can come on here a little bit more to show my face. Not my thing, but we'll see. Thank you so much for being here. See ya. Try to change your life in 2024. <laughs>